The gentleman from New Jersey is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I would yield such time as she may consume now to the sponsor of the legislation, the gentlewoman from Florida, Ms. Castor. The gentlewoman from Florida is recognized for as much time as she shall consume. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and, th and thank you, Chairman Pallone, for yielding the time. Uh, I rise today in support of my uh, bipartisan legislation with Representative Kim Schreier, the Prevent HPV Cancers Act. Mr. Speaker, if Dr. Francis Collins, the head of the NIH, called a press conference today and announced that we had found a cure for cancer, there would be cause for celebration. Well, since 2006, there's been a safe and effective vaccine that prevents six types of cancer, including cervical cancer and or HPV-related cancers, including cervical cancer and throat cancer. It's uh, been a remarkable development. The problem is that with these HPV-related cancers, there are no screening tests for many of these cancers. Uh, other than cervical cancer, there is a screening test. So you have to rely on prevention in order to avoid ever contracting this, this, these type of cancers. The other problem is that during the pandemic, there's been a dramatic drop-off in childhood vaccinations. It's very troubling. All childhood vaccinations have fallen way off, but particularly with the cancer-preventing HPV vaccine. According to data from the CDC, HPV vaccinations fell by almost 64 percent for children ages 9 to 12, and they fell 71 percent for young people aged 13 to 17 compared to the previous two years. Last year alone, more than one million doses were missed. And here's what's also troubling, the trends here. There is a distinct rise among men uh, in HPV-related cancers. Four out of 10 HPV-related cancers occur among men, a lot of throat cancer. 14,000 men annually, annually now are being diagnosed uh, with HPV-related cancers. That's a five-fold increase over the past 20 years. So we can tackle this problem by helping educate families, parents all across America to avoid these catastrophic diagnoses, save lives in doing it. The HPV, uh, the Prevent HPV Cancers Act builds on work the CDC is already doing to raise awareness about gynecologic cancers through Johanna's Law, and it includes HPV and HPV-related cancers in a national public awareness campaign to educate providers, parents, and the general public about the life-saving HPV vaccine. This is especially important in rural areas where there's also been a very dramatic drop-off. I want to thank uh, the, my friends back home at the Moffitt Cancer Center, Florida's only NCI-designated uh, cancer center, Dr. Anna Giuliano, who is an expert in the field for educating me, for bringing together advocates across the country. I want to thank Chairman Perlone and Chair Eshu, Ranking Member uh, McMorris Rogers and uh, Chairman Guthrie very much for your help and Dr. Burgess as well for his support. Thank you for making this a bipartisan effort. And I want to also thank Stephen Holland with the majority staff and Kristen Chetinsky with the minority staff. And parents and families, uh, it's vitally important to know that you can prevent your children from ever contracting cancer through the HPV vaccine. It's safe and effective and more parents need to understand the, the import of doing this. I urge adoption, uh, vote, uh, yes vote on H.R. 1550, the Prevent HPV Cancers Act, and I yield back my time. The gentleman from New Jersey Reserves, the gentleman from Kentucky is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield as much time as you